Hey guys, welcome back to Detective D, The Silk Rose Murders. In the last episode, we not only talked a little bit with other people, but we also talked with Zhu Dan, who is the father of the Wilkin. And well, he had some insights for us, also the Corona, and also uh, the Magistrate, the Lieutenant that helps us. But I guess here we are now, and we are going to show the broken, uh, the broken stick, the walking stick, to Judan. This was found in your house after your daughter was murdered. It's, it's my walking stick. How can this be? Why is it broken? I was hoping you could help me answer those questions. I'm not lying to you, detective. I'm certain I had it with me that evening until it was stolen. Wait, could it be? Yes, that must be it. Don't you see? My daughter's killer must be the same person who took my walking stick. But why? Why would someone do that? Okay, so that didn't really help. On second thought, that probably okay. So also, I don't think that we can show this to him because he's blind. But it was worth a try. All right. So, hmm, does he have any new information after that walking stick thing? No, he doesn't. All right. So if that's the case, it's time to investigate. So let's go to the lobby first. Maybe Lieutenant Ma has something new in stock for us? Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, uh, let's show him the stick. Not sure of its significance, but I thought it strange that this broken walking stick was found near the victim's body. Hmm, it is indeed strange. Let's show him his, uh, his footprint. As I mentioned before, that's a life-size sketch I made of a footprint we found at the crime scene. Magistrate Lee, though he was rubbish and snickered at the idea, but I figured I'd do it anyway, just in case. I guess that is going to be very important for us. Thank you for that. We're not sure if those roses belong to Zhu Fin Lin Fei or not, but her father says she never had any interest in plants or flowers. But that begs the question, why would the killer leave behind? Ah, uh, because that is kind of his or her mark? Their mark? Hmm. We'll have to find out. Okay, so we now know where to go, I guess. Uh, can we take these old leaves, by the way? No, we can't. Okay, so let's go to the map. And now we do have the victim's house to have a look around for. Okay, oh, the alleyway. Let's have a look there. This is one of Chang uh, Chang'an's poorer neighborhoods. The people who live here are usually traders and artisans. Mm-hmm. Here's a puddle here. Let's have a look at the puddle. That's a large puddle of water. It's collected last uh, last evening's rain rather effectively. The soft dirt in this yard makes it easy to leave impressions on its surface. Hmm. This is a dumb idea, right? Yeah, that doesn't help, of course. Might have been, though. Let's have a look at the window. From this vantage point, I can see a large port of the interior of the house. Aha. Uh -huh. Is that so? Nothing that we can actually use though. But we can go inside the house. So let's do that. Oh, okay. So the crime scene is still intact, huh? I can see part of the front yard. Let's have a look at the cabinet first. It contains ordinary personal belongings. Well, uh, the area of interest, we're gonna take a look at that, the very last. Table, hmm, a dinner table. Curiously, the two dining chairs are placed uh, nowhere near it. That is true. Let's have a look at the kitchen. Ordinary kitchen utensil, nothing uh, noteworthy here. Okay. Oh, the music is just great, by the way, guys. I really like how how they do this. Okay, so the mat is rolled up. Why? A rolled up straw mat. This must be where Julian Faye slept. Okay. What about this bed, though? This is her father's, then. Only one bed in the house. This must be where Dan sleeps. Uh-huh. So I guess it's time... To investigate the area of interest, huh? 
Let's have a look first. The blood has dried, but the large gruesome stain that was left behind is an unsettling reminder of what took place here. It's unmistakable, this is where the murder took place. Hey, as expected, the posthumous removal of the victim's heart caused pr uh, profuse bleeding, but there is no discernible pattern to any of it. Hmm, a dining chair in the middle of the room? This chair must have been placed here for a purpose. Corona Yao said that the killer was likely standing above and behind Julian Fei when she was strangled. Perhaps the killer forced her to sit her before before he strangled her. But why would she cooperate? What's this? There's a small fragment of wood under the chair. Fragment of wood added to inventory. This dining chair is placed next to the bed. But why? Did the killer use it while he was waiting for her? According to the sea... <coughs> Sorry guys. Uh, the killer somehow managed to draw Xu Lin... Zhu Lin Fei into the house and onto that center chair. It also appears as though he sat on the chair next to the bed while waiting for her arrival. No doubt further no doubt further hinting at the threat he posed to her father. But why are there no signs of struggle? Why didn't she run or fight back? Huh Let's have a look here. It's a small fragment of wood. Can we combine it? It's a perfect fit. This fragment of wood must have splintered off when the walking stick was broken. That means the walking stick was broken in the house at the time of the murder. Reassemble walking stick added to inventory. Ah, okay. But the thing is... The second that will, won't work. Huh. It's, unmist uh, it's unmistakable. The, this is where the murder took place. Hmm. Okay, we have that already, though. Huh. What about this table? So we can't interact with anything here, huh? Hmm. Didn't have a curious little child placed nowhere near it. Nothing of interest there. I feel like I'm missing something. On second thought, it won't work, but I think that this footprint has something to do with this. Huh, but it, maybe not here. Alright, so maybe we'll just leave then? Hmm. There must be something that we can actually do. Maybe we can use the stick to do. No, won't probably won't work. You don't say. Hmm. Don't think that's a good idea. What about this rose? I can't imagine this rose. Hmm. Okay. So. Where do we head next, though? Maybe at the Imperial Palace. Do you have something to say about this rose? Do you have something to say about this walking stick? Or this? You don't have anything to say to us, right? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, I don't think that the Empress can help us either. Can she? Uh, oh, I misclicked. I don't think that you can tell us something about this, right? Maybe if we... No, of course not. Okay, that was stupid. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we will head back to the Justice Department. And we will have to talk... Hmm... Uh, what am I doing? Let's just go to the lobby. Hmm. Have we checked the... Uh, 
have this box yet. Yes, we have. Mm, it's empty. You don't have anything new for us, don't, do you? No, you don't. Okay, do you have something to say about this walking stick now? Not sure if it's significant, but I thought it's strange that this broken blah 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 blah, but it's not broken anymore. Alright, so let's talk to the father again. Not like this, though. What if we give him back and see how that helps? Okay, so that doesn't help. Alright. We're a little stuck, but that's okay. That's just going to happen. It's a point and click, and I am missing something, but I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what. And we'll have to talk about that in a second. Okay. Alright, so if we show them the that doesn't help. Doesn't help either. That doesn't help either. Hmm. So you won't give that to us either. So maybe I missed something at the house? That might be just the case, right? So let's try and be a little bit more thorough in the house. Hmm. Hmm. Have I missed something here? There is a puddle. It's a large puddle that's collected last even more, rather effectively makes it easy to leave impressions on its surface. So I don't think that we can... Uh, no, I already tried that. Ah, oh, there are footprints here. Let's have a look then. These footprints are deep enough to have collected some rainwater inside of them. Someone must have stood here for a long period of time. Was someone spying on Julian Fay and her father? Can we do this then? Aha! Uh -huh. It's a match. These footprints are almost identical in shape and size to the footprint sketch drawn by Lieutenant Ma. The killer must have spied on Julian Fay and a father from this uh, spot to study their movement and routines. Aha! Uh -huh. Discovered footprints, suggesting that the killer spied on Julian Fay for a long time. Okay, we at least have that now. Hmm. Okay. Let's move to the house, though, because we, hmm. Hmm. Wait a second, there is some, ah, okay, I just re, okay, so, let's have a look here. It's an old outline of dust created by the cabinet. Someone must have recently moved it from its original position. Okay, but what good does that do us? Maybe now we can use the cabinet. Perhaps I can try move it. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so let's move it then. Aha! Uh -huh. What is it? A note was lodged behind the cabinet. I was, uh, was the killer deliberately leaving clues behind? What is it? Let's have a look. The time is near. Slaves will lose heart. The wolf signifies fear. Of flesh torn apart. Is this letter meant to be a warning? Has he planned to do more killing? And what are these two strange symbols on the corner? Huh. That is indeed weird. Found the secret note left behind the killer containing a warning. Okay, maybe now we can do something. Hmm. Well, hmm. 
Wait a second. Have we even examined this one? The killer did not have uh, to use force to make uh, Julian Faye sit down because he had his possession the one thing that could have compelled her to obey, her father's walking stick. The killer was sending a message. If he was capable of taking such an item from her right under Judan's nose, he was also capable of inflicting injury and pain at any moment. He reinforced that point by breaking the uh, stick in front of Julian Faye, but doing so caused the fragment to splinter off. Coerced into submission, Julian Fay bravely did what she thought was the only way to protect her father, sacrifice herself. Huh, okay. And we got another clue for that, okay. Alright, so we got three of those. Maybe we can talk to the Empress now with things we have noticed. You won't... Okay, no, that, that was to be expected. But maybe we do have new dialogue with the Empress now. No, we don't. Okay, that is strange. That is indeed strange. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so where to go next? Hmm. Have we... Wait a second, I am so blind, guys. Do you see this? I haven't even noticed last time. Okay. There's a young boy hiding behind the fence. So let's talk to him. You there, what are you doing? Me? Nothing, sir. I was just passing by. Don't lie to me, boy. You weren't just passing by. Were you spying on me? Do you know anything about what happened here? I don't know anything, I swear. I live just around the corner over there. I was just... I was just playing out here. Is that so? And what were you playing? I... Uh, well, I was... Uh, I was just... I can see that you are nervous, but there is no need to be afraid. Answer my questions, and you can be on your way. I... I can't talk to you. I might get in trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? The policeman he said I'm not allowed to talk to anyone except him. Hmm. I'm a policeman. You can talk to me. But Mr. Liu said I'm not allowed to talk to anyone, even other policemen, or I'll lose my medallion for good. I've already said too much. Please don't tell him what I said. Liu? Was his name Liu Zilin? That's right. You know him too. I'm begging. I'm beginning to think everyone knows him. Tell me, what did he say to you? I can't tell you or I'll lose my medallion. I'm the new policeman in charge now. You have nothing to fear. So you have my medallion? Can I please have it back? Oh, uh, let's be honest, right? I don't have it, but if you help me, I can try to find it for you. Why would I believe anything you say? All your grown-ups aren't the same. Clever boy, how about we make a deal? If I can find your medallion and return it to you, you will answer all my questions truthfully. You, I... You're not trying to trick me now, are you? Mr. Liu tricked me when he said he wanted to see my medallion and then wouldn't let me have it back. No, no tricks. That's a promise. I guess that would be alright. It's a deal then. You wait for me here while I look for your medallion. I'm dear NGA. What's your name, son? I'm Zhao Bao. Alright, Zhao Bao. Can you tell me what the medallion looks like? It's a round silver medallion. There's a rooster engraved on one side. My father gave it to me. It's been in our family for generations. <laughs> I have to get it back. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find it for you. And I'll be back to talk with you when I do. Liu Zilin, what were you up to? Perhaps someone at the Justice Department might know more about this. That is indeed true. Alright, so I guess it's time to head to the lobby finally. We might have triggered new dialogue. Hopefully. Do you know anything about a medallion belonging to a young boy named Zhao Bao? I believe it was confiscated illegally by Magistrate Liu. A medallion? No, I'm not aware of anything like that. I did hear a rumor once that Magistrate Liu may have conducted illegal sieges and used personal belongings as leverage for blackmail. 
but those were just stories around the office. No one ever saw him do these things. Hmm, I think I have what I need for now. Thank you, Lieutenant. I'm at your disposal. Hmm. But I bet it is somewhere around here. Let's have a look inside here then. Isn't this? It's empty. Uh, can we talk to the officer? He seems hard work. We shouldn't disturb him. Hmm. Okay, maybe you have something to say about it. Do you know anything about a medallion belonging to a young boy named Zhao Bao? I believe it was confiscated legally by, magis by Magistrate Liu. How should I know? I'm a private to anyone, to any secrets or hidden stashes. But like I said before, the man was a wild leech. It wouldn't surprise me if all the corruption rumors him were true. Hmm. You know where to find me. Yes, I do, but I'd love to find that medallion. Where could it be, though? It's very unlikely that Judan knows anything about it. No, he doesn't. Hmm. Where can we find that medallion then? Hmm. So we already talked to him though. Maybe at our private quarters. Maybe at the at our Oh, hmm, isn't that the same blue bird from this morning? There he goes again. Interesting. What if... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, what do we have here? I can't pull the brick without losing, loosening it first. Well... Looks like someone tampered with the bricks on the section of the wall. Aha! Uh -huh. So, let's give this a try then. Smashing the brick into pieces may damage what's behind it. I need to try and remove it instead. Uh, but what do we use for that? Maybe the stick? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. So, looks like someone tampered with a brick in the section of this wall. But we can't... I can't pull the brick out without loosening it first. We have to loosen it. We don't have anything that loosens. Maybe at our private quarters? In the chest, maybe. I didn't have much, but the essentials are in there. Huh, it was a gift. The journal doesn't do anything for us. The capital of blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that won't help us then so what will help us then nothing in here either right maybe something in the lobby ah at the morgue there is this chisel so can we talk to him about it no, we can't, but can we try to take it? I don't know, blah, 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 and you have a good reason to borrow them. Actually, I do have a good reason to borrow the chisel. I needed to loosen the mortar surrounding a suspicious brick I found in a wall. You want to use the medical chisel on a wall to loosen up a suspicious brick? Oh, you know, if you're just going to make up whatever nonsense pops into your head, you should at least try to make it sound credible. Oh, just take it. I'm too old for this rubbish. And there we go! We got a chisel! Chisel dizzle! Nice! Alright, so here we go. Let's go straight to the brick. Outside in the courtyard. And here we go. Where is that chisel? Gonna take the chisel and loosen the brick. 
This chisel alone won't do the trick. I need to combine it with a hammering tool. Aha. Okay, so let's do that real quick. The hammer and chisel are tried and true combination. Hammer and chisel added to inventory. And now we can finally loosen the brick. It seems the, uh, the others were right about it, Luzilian. He was indeed up to no good. The secret stash is full of blackmail material taken from some of the most powerful people in the city. Most of it looks like incriminating evidence of some sort. Liu must have been collecting all this in order to extort his chosen targets. With any luck? Yes, there's Zhao Bai's medallion. Medallion added to inventory. Uncovered Liu Zilin's hidden stash of blackmail material containing Zhao Bao's medallion. Oh, nice. Alright, guys, but uh, achievement unlocked. It is since. I'm really sorry. We have hit the end of the episode mark. If you want to know what, this, what the little boy has to tell us. You'll have to tune in next time for Detective D. The Silk Cross Murders. See you then.